So like I just said to my son, I've been sitting out here for probably a couple hours now. I've, I've started to record and deleted so many things because I have so much to say and just don't know where to start or where I want to end up. <laughs> so he came out here, so I figured I'd just start it. Maybe, maybe I can just get out something and call it whatever because I don't even know what to say nowadays anymore. I'm going to hit this spot of where I'm stuck. <laughs> just keep repeating myself I feel like well I've repeated myself inside my own mind and heart over and over again so much uh, to where I just yeah I have so much to say about so much but at the same time I feel like I've I already have in a bunch of different ways best I could so I feel like yeah where do you go? Sorry to talk about the apocalypse. I talked to you, man. Yeah. I don't know. It was uh, the apocalypse, the inner apocalypse going through my own. Like I was saying, I had tried to say to, to this camera quite a few times. Yeah, it's like it hit for me, really, the apocalypse. Been living through it for like three years. To me, when I kind of, when I had my like meltdown, like really beliefs melted away and I figured trying to figure out just what the fuck happened the whole first 39 years of my life. I started to build from there. But I was trying to talk about how it's a, it's a physical, mental, spiritual growing process that like we're supposed to go through. I should have gone through a long time ago, you know? Yeah. We all should have. But yeah, it just I had no reason to question the world I lived in or my reality until until it all hit me at once internally and it just all all collapsed. All the beliefs, yeah, and then trying to build knowing instead of belief. It's been <laughs> it's been so much. And then trying to communicate that to try and help others realize that there's so much to know rather than believe. Because the beliefs are the very things that are killing us all and allowing all of us to be killed and enslaved by those that teach the beliefs. I don't even know where I was about to go again. That's what I mean. I keep I keep hitting this, these spots where I'm just like, where do I go from here? It's, it's everything. It's all the beliefs. The, yeah. all the different religions that have been taught to us that we've just internalized that have kept us bound the religion religions the government religions the money religions the academic religions the scientism religions kind of just said that but whatever, they have so many different labels that are all the same fucking nonsense. When really, yeah, it comes down to really internally, simply, and to know and to become conscious. Con, as in together. And Sierra, to know, to know together, to know together from mind and heart, in heart and mind. To become fully conscious, that's what happened to me. That's what I realized my first 39 years of life. I lived in some varying state of unconsciousness without realizing it because I didn't know together with my mind and my heart. I couldn't feel. And that's what the vaccines were for. That's where, that's what all the programming is for. That's on the television and the music. That's what the education system is designed for. That's what all the belief systems are designed to do is to keep you from feeling, to keep you trapped in a frame or state of mind, because that is the only true state that any of us exist in is our own state of consciousness or unconsciousness. There is no other real states. Not as described. So, yeah, it was, man, it's, 
trying to get all those things across that the programming is harmful, the education system itself and what it teaches is harmful, and the beliefs it teaches. Because once you get taught that, you just run around thinking that these beliefs are actually fact, they're actually true, and you act on those beliefs like I did. Why well, I entered the military, and when I entered the military, I got injected with a ton more of the mind control vaccines that are meant to burn out the spirit and soul and cause co cognitive dysfunction, which I got as a child, a baby, and that's how I got programmed to the point to where I joined the military and got injected with a bunch more. And I didn't realize until I did, till I was, I was lying almost dead on the floor from all the health and mental issues and everything I had gone through for 39 years without realizing what had happened. I realized later or have come to know that it was it was the vaccines that made it so i couldn't know and feel the consciousness of my own heart my own empathy my own care center because i didn't care that's what the vaccines were for that's the only way you can really make a military the way it stands today to where the military is being used to attack Attack country after country after country for lie after lie after lie after lie. I've come to see now I couldn't see at the time because I believed in that system too strongly. I was blinded to reality around me. Since I was blinded to reality around me and because I couldn't feel or care enough about my own actions and how I harmed others, in my mind it made sense. I was doing it because, because of reasons. But in my heart, I couldn't feel. And that's what the vaccines were designed to do. And that's what almost killed me, was trying to relive my fractured past and shattered psyche and soul to put together the pieces of why did I do all of those actions in that state? And what was that? What was I? Because I wasn't any of those labels I thought I was. Once I stripped it simply down to male versus female, natural versus unnatural, belief versus knowing and discarding all the belief best I could as fast as I could. Looking back now, I could have, I could have come to a, I could have come to the conclusions I've come to much faster than I did. Had I had the right information, been exposed to the right things or, or, you know, whatever, would have, could have, should have. What I was trying to express is really for the world to change, for all of us to change this world as it stands now is the majority out there, the majority of society has to go through that inner apocalypse for all those belief systems to break all at once. We all have to go through this at one point or another if we're actually going to find out what it means to be a soulful being in a man or a woman's body. Too many are confused on, on even what their own body is, male or female, one or the other. Folks just, just plain don't know themselves and they're not taught to consider themselves internally and learn about themselves or their own psyche or their thoughts, feelings, or emotions or to realize their own, develop their own logic, creativity, and reason without it being manipulated and perverted by all the toxins injected and ingested in the toxic information taught, the programming taught. The difference, there's another real simple difference to looking at life. And you can look at it as the difference between living legally or living morally. Because they're not one in the same. Legality has nothing to do with morality. Morality as the conscious of the heart. That conscious knowing of the heart and mind 
to know that it is wrong to harm other life. And that can be related to everything out there in all the systems. It's harmful to teach incorrect information to children so they grow up to be programmed automatons of some slave system that they, they choose, all the while thinking incorrectly that they are free when they are not. Where else? <laughs> There's so much the harmful, harmful things that are just carrying out because folks don't know any better else. I don't, I don't even know where else to go because I've said so many of the things. You have to know that the Wi-Fi, these frequencies that are being used are, are causing damage at a cellular level. And they're affecting cognition, the functionality of the brain and the processing of thought and emotion. The diet. If I would have changed my diet fast as well, which is one of actually the fastest things I did, the soonest things I did when I realized the, the amount of harm I had caused to include killing, not just animals, but other men, other men because for other men's reasons that I was told to go do these things. That's what I'm saying. It's everything is so up, upside down and backwards and inverted. It's it's amazing when you can see it and feel it for what it is and realize what we're all living through right now and realize that uh, these folks that are depended on to protect, those folks don't realize they're being used to do nothing but attack and enslave others and destroy others. Why? It's to bring our destruction here, this place that I sit in now called America. And it's all planned out, and it's not just to destroy here because we've been destroying so many other places. It's because this is just a repeating pattern and cycle of history. Of what these folks, whoever they are, have manipulated all these other groups of folks into doing and thinking to each other and about each other and about themselves. That you have to know that the most of the food out there is toxic. That's why eating just a natural plant-based diet is the way to go, as was intended, except we were taught wrong. We were taught to consume things like animals, other sentient living beings. And do you think there's no such thing as genetic memory? Plenty of talk about that nowadays. Do you think that doesn't affect one when one ingests the dead sentient energy? Do you think that genetic memory isn't there and doesn't also have to be processed by you, the one who just ingested that poor, tortured, sentient being? You do, and it makes you darker and darker and darker inside and sick because of all the other health problems that go along that are associated with it. But it's these... It's the spiritual damage. It's the damage to the soul is what I'm trying to get across and what I've try been trying to get across for a bit now because it's damage on that level that's so deep that's considered normal by so many of the so-called normal people. All the people, the corporations, look it up, look up. These things, you're taught to think of yourself as an entity. That's why you're assigned an identity. It's your id entity. It's your persona. It's your mask. It's your fake straw man that you're taught to portray yourself as so you can be enslaved by all these systems that were set up long before you ever got here and long before your parents got here and grandparents got here. That's why. And what do you think is happening now when someone like me 
just a regular guy can know and see and feel these things and know that these deceptions are happening on the soul level and have happened to us all along to get us here. If I can know that and if I can speak about that and try to get information out about that, well, so can a lot of others. And if we're at this point where someone like me can be talking about things on the soul level and talk about knowing that there is indeed a creator and that we've all been lied to and all these systems that folk attach labels to themselves to and then and then act as an actor for that particular label or system only for that system that does not care and does not protect any of us it's there to enslave us they don't realize This is the this, this is the so-called Armageddon I see, the end, the collapse, because it was all designed to. And the only way to prevent Armageddon that I see is for everyone out there, at least the vast majority, to go through the inner apocalypse that they have to go through and then see that, oh yeah, now that I'm living in the apocalypse, the state of the veils being lifted of things that were covered to be uncovered, things to be revealed when one finds that there's a whole book of revelations, so to speak, to be revealed in one's own heart when one can get there and realize and feel these things in the past traumas for what's happened to all of us here. You'll see it's gonna take action on a grand scale because the creator or God isn't going to do it for us. It is our responsibility. So for me, it's only been three years living through the apocalypse and I don't know how much longer I'll be here. I don't know how much longer any of us will be here. A lot of folk have been living through the apocalypse, a state of knowing for much longer than I have, and I don't know how they continue to do it, because it's rough. And that brings me to another topic that's very, very much related to this, is suicide. For me, I had to go through that. I had to go through all the the trauma I had caused and consider the trauma I had caused to others with my actions and empathetically try and feel that as deeply as I could and how it ripple affected out into the lives of others and that I was responsible for all that pain. I had to accept the fact that I did that in, in a state of insanity because I was only operating in a state of fractured mind and I couldn't empathetically feel the damage I was doing out there for whatever cause or label, which it was the flag. It was the government. It was the military. It was for my country. It was for all these reasons I was programmed to think and act upon. Others in other areas of life are going to have to feel that same pain and trauma they have caused to others. For the teachers, once you've come to realize how much you've been lied to about in the lies that you are teaching, you have to feel the pain that's caused to all these children or the children who are now, now are adults or the children who've already grown to old age and where you have to consider were they able or are they able to heal from that damage of being taught all that incorrect information and find out that they, they truly do have a soul and a spirit inside for the ones that have injected them with the toxins just for that very reason to cut off the soul and the spirit of the child or the man or woman. You have to consider that damage you have done on the soul level for yourself. And when you do that, and that goes for any, any of these other activities, the actors out there, 
the singers, the bards, the minstrels, the sorcerers of mind control, when you realize how you've manipulated the masses into this dark, dark state, when you feel it for yourself and feel that maybe you are not that and you were not that all along, that you were indoctrinated into believing you were some dark power that you weren't and that was only a mask and there was a spark of light or goodness inside you in your heart that was waiting to try and find itself and to realize it was an infinite part of creation and the creator and you did have a soul. Could you handle all that pain? Because for some of us and some of you, some will be able to and some will be able to heal. Some will be able to reconcile it to the best of their ability and move forward and be a positive cause point for good and for change out there for other folk to find morality, to find their soul, to find out that they're infinitely more than they were taught. But some won't. Some won't be able to handle the trauma of considering what they've caused to others and how it impacted or ended their lives. My best suggestion is to move deeply into that state of inner apocalypse as deep and as quickly and as quietly and as calmly as you can on your own. Look into you. Look into this reality. Discard the beliefs. Detox. Change the diet. Change your habits. Change your thought patterns. It's a battle of addictions on a massive scale. Whole plant-based food, fruits and vegetables, nuts and seeds. That's what I did. That's what I've been doing for three years. With my own cannabis oil as my only medicine, no pills, no pharmaceuticals. I've talked about a lot of these different things in the past and in other videos. But really, that's my best advice. Change the diet and then get away. Get away from these systems of belief and then discard them. Look at these things for what they really are and try and feel it. And as you change, as you start to try to change, as you find the will to change in your heart, The brain fog will clear as the toxins clear. As you start to ingest fruits and vegetables that did not live a tortured life and die a needless death because of the greed of others, as you eat and ingest those kinds of materials, your body doesn't have to also process the genetic memory of pain and suffering. The plants were put here to give us all the nutrients and sustenance we need, along with the sun. Could we only see it? Because the air is full of poisons almost every day. You see what they're doing, whoever they are. Crops are being destroyed and this weather is being manipulated on purpose and has been. That's been known. It's been known for a long time. It's been happening before I was born. Only I didn't know. For 39 years, I only believed this or that or the other. That's what I'm saying. Come to know as much as you can, as fast as you can, especially about yourself. That's the only way this world is going to change. The inner apocalypse is is yours to go through. It's your apocalypse. It's your responsibility. As I'm still going through it myself and coming to still try and realize as much as I can and at the same time also try and act on what I have realized as best I can, which lately hasn't been good at all. 
like I said, I felt stuck for a bit now. I haven't known what to say or how to say it because it's just so much to say and I feel like I've said it because I have. It's just spread out over many videos probably. So I guess I'll keep trying to say things as I say them. So. so yeah, thanks for coming out. I guess you got me at least talking just by being out here. So maybe something will come of this. Uh, thanks. <laughs> All right, yeah. I'll just I'll leave it at this and just put this up. And I have no idea what to call this. All right, something to do with the apocalypse or uh, what's catchy? I don't know. I don't, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> uh, apocalypse is a catchy word. Hmm. Apocalypse in the uh, the end game. Yeah, there's that Avengers movie that just came out, Endgame, huh? Apocalypse Avengers, Avengers Endgame. Because really the end game here and the end game that I've been trying to talk about really is the collapse of, of everything. And it's the installation of a new belief system is what's coming and what's going on if you can't see it. Really, the military has to come home, has to heal, has to detox, has to see things for what it is. Everyone else and all the other systems out there, also, they have to do the same. They have to come home. They have to detox. They have to look at this reality. They have to find morality, not legality. Find morality. Find that place of do no harm because you would not want harm done unto you type of, you know. Because the end game is, is to have the majority in the state to where they don't care if they cause harm or not. And that's where we are right now. We are in that end game. To where everyone's ready to just attack each other for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Except for someone in their group said so. And it's just plain not right. And it's that simple. It really is. So. Okay then. Thanks for listening.